let's do some problems on molality now molality is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent not solution solvent okay so keep that in mind all right so the first question calculate the molality of 225 milligrams of glucose formula is given the mass is given in 5.00 milliliters of ethanol and the density is given to us uh, usually at this point we don't really ask you to calculate molecular weight unless that is the question but otherwise the molecular weight is hopefully given to you because by now you should know how to calculate those so in any case for us then molality is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent so really that's all we have to do is make sure that we convert our milligrams of glucose into moles and the milliliters of ethanol into kilograms. So let's go ahead and set it up. It's uh, not that hard of a calculation, okay? So moles of glucose is equal to 225 milligrams and then convert that into grams. So that's one gram has 1000 milligrams in it and then you convert those grams into moles. So in one mole, there is 180.2 grams of glucose. Okay, and so that gives us 0 0.001249 moles. Now let's go ahead and convert um, our ethanol into kilograms of ethanol. All right, and so that would be 5.00 milliliters of ethanol. <clears throat> times and first you can do whatever you can either convert that into um, liters or to uh, grams okay which that's what we should do first or liters or kilograms so let's do that first density is 0 0.789 grams over one milliliter and need to convert that into uh, kilograms now so milliliters milliliters is gone and in <clears throat> one kilogram I have one thousand grams okay so that gives me 0 0.003945 kilograms okay of ethanol now all I have to do is divide these two numbers and so then molality is equal to 0 0.001249 moles divided by 0 0.003945 kilograms my suggestion to you when you're doing these calculations is do not round off okay until you get to the end so our sig figs here are three and three for both so which means you have to come down to three i would keep to about four or five significant figures until you're at the end and then you can round off so after the calculation it turns out to be 0 0.317 molal solution my molality is a little bit of italics like this if you want i think the symbol is uh, a dash on the top to signify that it's uh, molality. Okay, so uh, that's how you do the calculation. Very simple, straightforward. Let's do another kind over here. Um, how many grams of benzoic acid, which is C6H5OH, again the molecular weight is given to us, must be dissolved in 50 milliliters of benzene C6H6 and the density is given to us 0 0.879 grams to produce a 0 0.15 molal benzoic acid solution okay so again remember molality is equal to moles of solute over kilograms of solvent what we are looking for over here is of course the moles of solute so if you want you can do cross multiplication okay so moles of solute then is equal to molality times kilograms of solvent all right which means that we need to find out um, the kilograms of solvent in 50 milliliters of uh, benzene because that is our solvent so let's go ahead and do that so kilogram of solvent is equal to start with 50.0 milliliters of benzene because that's what's given to us and then convert that into grams by using the density which is 0 0.879 grams per milliliter that's the density given to us and then of course let's go ahead and convert that to kilograms in one kilogram i have 1000 grams that gives me 0 0.04395 kilograms okay and that is the amount of solute uh, solvent that i have 
So then coming back to this equation, my moles of solute, and then I'm going to also, you can, you know, convert it to grams of uh, solute if you want to in the same calculation. You will see it's, it's fairly easy to do. So my moles of solute is going to be equal to um, the molality, okay, which is given to us 0 0.150 moles, and this is benzoic acid, okay, benzoic acid divided by uh, one kilogram of solvent. And I just calculated how much solvent I have, and which is 0 0.04395 kilogram of solvent. So that kilogram, kilogram goes away over here. Now I only have moles of benzoic acid left, so all I have to do is do one more little calculation here to get the final answer. That's what I was saying, that we can calculate the grams of uh, solute here as well. So moles to grams, okay? And so I use the mass that's given to us, which is 122.1 in one mole of benzoic acid. And so this gives us then 0 0.8 excuse me, 0 0.805 grams of benzoic acid. Keep it simple, keep your units um, intact, you know, and then you will see that it's really not that hard. Molality calculations are just like molarity, very easy to do.